as a queer person who has always had to fight for their right to exist. I am sick and tired of people telling me to go off and be whatever I am somewhere else. I am not going anywhere. I am sick of the only books that my son can read are about slavery and lynching, things that I find disgusting. Let's talk about what this really is. You hate gay people, and it's obvious, because look at how you behave when one gay person speaks. Look at how you act, and your children are watching. You worried about the gay people? No problem. We're not worried about the gay people. We're worried about our children. All right, man. So look, we back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. It's all in the link description box below. Go support your boy. Without further ado, we got a crazy video right here for y'all. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, shout out to Black Conservative Perspective. I could not find the original video, so I just had to go to his channel, and obviously I got it from his channel. So yeah, shout out to Black Conservative Perspective. Without further ado, I go. You worried about the gay people? No problem. We're not worried about the gay people. We're worried about our children. And the only person that's behind this is Rashida Tlaib. Do not vote for Rashida Tlaib. It's nice and simple. Let's talk about what this really is. You hate gay people, and it's obvious, because look at how you behave when one gay person speaks. Look at how you act, and your children you guys, are watching. Mr. Stone. Okay, this is the thing. Now, I already know what's going on, because this has been going crazy. This is with the LGBT books or whatever. It's after kids, children, freaking school, whatever. It's about the little LGBT bu uh, books. Now, first of all, it's the LGBTQ, T, A, B, C, yeah, all the alphabets, yes, yeah, they, it's their books. So basically, they got all these books in the school, which I disagree with. I don't have a problem. Just because we are against this move, that doesn't mean that we hate gay people. It simply means that we don't like what y'all are doing to our children. I don't approve of my kid learning about this stuff at the age of freaking three, six, four, whatever. They're young. They need to know how to play with little, 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 uh, cards and door explorer toys and all that. I don't want them learning about no gay stuff. Like, come on, that's just that's just me. That's not me hating gay people. That I feel like that's everybody like conclusion. Like, I don't support the LGBTQ, but I respect them. But I don't support the fact that they put their beliefs on the kids. That's why I don't. That's that's where you draw the line at, bro. You know, at one point you gotta draw the line. And that's where you draw it at. When it comes to my kids, even though I don't have any, but when I do have any. When it comes to them, look, all that extra stuff that your beliefs, please don't put on my kids. Ah, simple as that. You believe in this and you think that they should be learning about this. You think they should learn about drag queens and all that. Leave my kids out of it, all right? <laughs> it's not that we don't hate. It's not that we hate gay people, bro. Come on, man. Just have common sense. Y'all don't have no common sense. That's what it is. And your children you guys are watching. Mr. Stone. As a school board... You allowed someone to stand here for three minutes and disparage the Muslim faith. You did not stop it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I have some absolutely insane footage for you guys today. As we are following up on the story about the Muslim and Christian parents who have combined forces, right? To protest against the woke LGBTQ agenda that is being pushed in schools in the sense that there are books that are pushing Wait, sexual. Did he just say Christian and Muslim parents? Yo. Story about the Muslim and Christian parents who have combined forces. That's proof that, bro, we can all come together. No, no matter what belief system you have, we could all come together, bro. I love that. I love that because I remember one time I was reading my comments and it was like, oh, the only thing that separates us is that, you know, you're Christian and I'm atheist or something like that. And I was just like, bro, that, you feel me? Whatever belief system you have does not mean that I can't be friends. I can't be cordial with you. Like, I love that. Christian and Muslim parents, like, coming together for this, it's a beautiful thing. It shows that we can all have unity in some area of our life. So I'll go ahead and show that. But the first footage I want to show is the parents who stood up against these sexual books being pushed on kids in school. Take a look. And every parent has a right to object 
to the things their kids are being exposed to. But there is a breaking point. And the breaking point is this. The fundamental existence of school is not to learn about sexual pleasure, to not to learn about new sex acts. The fundamental purpose of school is to prepare our kids to be successful adults who can go off and have careers. And it is up to every parent to then teach their kids morality. It is out of the place for the school to do it, and I reject any notion that parents here are filled see, with... They, see, this is the thing with schools, bro. They teach the wrong things in school. I mean, uh, I when I was going through school, bro, they were teaching me things that I probably would never use in my everyday to day life. They don't teach me about things that I need to know, like taxes, how to file taxes, uh, uh, bills, rent, when moving out your mom's crib, what to expect. Like they don't teach things that a lot of young teens or a lot of kids is going to have to do one day. They teach things like, Oh, well, you need to learn how to love one another and, uh, accept for, accept somebody for who they are, bro. You can teach that without teaching them about the gay people. You seriously, you can teach. That. I don't want to say the gay people. I feel like that's coming off as rude, but the LGBTQ, you know what I'm saying? You can teach how to respect one another. You can teach how to love one another without, uh, showing them books of the LGBTQ, bro. It's a different. It's a different levels to this, bro. You could teach them a lot of different things without showing them that. Come on, man. They, these kids are too young, bro. They should be in school learning about the alphabets and all this, and they should be learning about way more than just learning about sexual pleasures and uh, uh, men becoming women and women becoming men. And they, they, come on. It with hate or bigotry the parents don't want their kids sexualized if other people want to sexualize their kids that's their business now i don't know what you guys are trying to do i don't know why didn't you take these books out and say that's it we're done with these books but you guys want to sit here just keep the books you know instead of you guys taking the six books out we wouldn't even be here what's the problem what's the agenda what are you getting out of it it's, it's, it's getting ridiculous people got kids out here Okay, I'm not against the gay. I'm not against anything. I'm against the books. Okay, don't sit here and say that people are sitting here coming to you guys and just telling you, oh, we want these books out. You worried about the gay people? No problem. We're not worried about the gay people. We're worried about our children. Okay, and second of all, I don't want to hear anybody, okay, sitting there saying, oh, you guys are offending the, the gay. These are kids. They can be 18. They be, they, if they want to become gay, let them become gay. Who cares? It's not a problem. We don't want kids to have access to these books. It's nice and simple. I'm not going to address the situation no more. It is. It is what it is. And the only person that's behind this is Rashida Tlaib. Do not vote for Rashida Tlaib. It's nice and simple. All right, guys, so you've seen that, you heard that, okay? You've heard the side of, of the parents who are concerned about these sexual books being pushed on their children in schools, right? And the things they have to go through uh, being that they, they are Muslim, right? Just like Christians have to go through the same thing. And when they speak out about this stuff, they get called all types of names, right? Uh, <laughs> including white Christian nationalists, right? Or, or white supremacists. Again, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. So that being said, let's get into the parents, the woke parents, who basically got booed as they were supporting kids being exposed to this sexual content in the nice. name of LGBTQ rights. Take a look. ...program that allows each parent to make these decisions for their kids. And I, for one, won't give up my rights as a father to anyone whose parenting skills are so fragile their teenagers can be undone by ink on a page. Much... It's time for you to draw your line and stand by it. Much of the community will stand with you despite all of this. If you cave and remove these books, they may believe they've won, but it doesn't make them right. History. So you really sit here and tell me that it's okay for your six-year-old son, your six-year-old daughter to read books that are not educational at all it's talking about things that they do not need to know right now. Trust me, I was the kid that was exposed to this stuff. Okay, I was the kid that was exposed to LGBTQ at a young age. Did I know what it was? No, I didn't know what LGBTQ was. But now as I'm older, I realized that, okay, I was doing something that I should never have been doing. I didn't know as a kid, but at the end of the day, it did follow me as I grew up. As I grew up now, I'm like, I feel guilty for myself I'm like dang like i was really doing this stuff at seven years old when at seven years old i should have been playing with a toy or something but i'm over here 
doing things that that is not that is not of God. And if you want to hear my testimony, you can. I actually posted a video on my testimony, but y'all can hear the testimony. But anyways. We will judge them on that, and it will judge you. This nation does not look back fondly on such efforts to subdue its freedom. So you want to become a video creator but aren't sure where to start. Go to artgrid.io and get all the footage. A lot of innocent, young, queer kids, they have made them terrified. And I come to you today as a mother, as a member of this community, as a wife, a mother, a queer mother, and as a woman who always has to fight for their right to exist, as a black woman who always has to fight for their right to exist, as a queer person who has always had to fight for their right to exist. I okay, you said the same word. What? What? First of all, what the freak is a queer? This is my thing. Okay, literally the LGBT, whatever. I don't even know. Man, they just added alphabets on to the. I don't even know what a queer is. When I was growing up, it was just LGBT. It was lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transsexual. That's all I really knew. I don't know what a queer. They added pansexual. They added so many letters to this, bro. It's ridiculous. It's seriously ridiculous. And you just said the same thing over and over again. I'm just trying to figure out where are you getting at. As a queer person who has always had to fight for their right to exist, I am sick and tired of people telling me to go off and be whatever I am somewhere else. I am not going anywhere. I am sick of the only books that my son can read are about slavery and lynching, things that I find disgusting. First of all, it's a lot of different other books that your son can read. Okay, I'm gonna just put that out there. I, I I'm gonna just put that out there. You know what I'm saying? You say you f wait. Hold on. Did she just say she finds slavery? Like hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait. 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 What? D wait, hold on. Pause. Uh, go back. Tired of people telling me to go off and be whatever I am somewhere else. I am not going anywhere. I am sick of the only books that my son can read are about slavery and lynching, things that I find disgusting. That's, edu that's educational. I think your son should know about things like that. But I don't think your son should know about being gay. I don't think your son should be learning about boys and boys touching each other inappropriately. I don't think your son needs to know about uh, sexual things at a young age. But I think your son should know about what happened in the history, what happened in black history, what happened in every type of history. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your son should know about that. How do you find those type of things disgusting? That's, that's kind of weird to me, how you find slavery, you know what I'm saying, disgusting. I feel like kids should learn about the history behind before they was born. I feel like kids need to know about the back history. 9-11, slavery, the Holocaust. I feel like kids should know about those type of things to know the history. That, that's it. Just know how far America has gone. Well, at least that's, a, what I, that's how my mindset is. I read on these things to see how far America has came. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, bro, we did come a long way. You feel me? I look at the I look at history in the black community or I look back in the black history and things like that to see how far black people have come. Even though it's some that still feel like they're oppressed, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. But I like to read on stuff like that to see how far we came as people, as the human race. I just want to see how far we came. So I feel like your kids should know about things like that. But then when you're teaching your kids about gay stuff, like uh, let me stop saying that, okay? Uh, let me just stop saying that word. I know that could offend a lot of people, so I don't want to say it like that. But when you sit there and, uh, and and your kid is reading a book about a man and a man, when God didn't create a man and a man to be together, he created a man and a woman to be together. Whatever your beliefs is, if you want to have kids and be fruitful and you plan to have kids, guess what? I'm going to break it down to you. You can't have a kid with a man and a man. Man can't get pregnant. You can't have a kid with women and women. Women can get pregnant, but not with two women. And there's other ways around it, but at the end of the day, don't you want your own seed? Don't you want your own kid? Not nobody else's sperm. Like, don't you want your own seed? That's what I'm saying. Your kid shouldn't be learning about that type of stuff. But then you say slavery is disgusting? Did you just say slavery is disgusting to you? For you to be black... And, and, and apparently, you know, a lot of black people are so strong about it. They're so emotional about these type of subjects. And today's day, they're more emotional about our grandparents that went through it. Our great-great-grandparents that went through it. They're more emotional than them. But for you to sit here, as you say, as a black American, uh, <laughs> and you tell me that, you, that slavery is disgusting. 
for your son to that's disgusting to you and you tired of your son reading books that are like that when that is history that is history your son should read on the history he should he should read on history history is very important in life i feel like everybody should read on some type of history everybody and he shouldn't just read history within slavery. I think he should read about everything that went on with every single race. <sighs> and that's how I'm raising my kids. I'm sorry. That's how I'm raising my kids. I want my kids to know about know about all history. I believe every skin color has some it has some history behind it. I want my kids to know about every history. Jeez, this son is demon on me. Those are things that I hate. Unacceptable. But we are always reading about those things. We never get to read about love, kindness. If it bleeds, it leads. Anything that gets shot, anybody time somebody gets in a car accident on Beach Daily or Gully, it's the first thing on the news. If a lesbian couple gets married down the street, you never hear about it. Quiet! It is my turn. Please address the, the board. Hold on. Thing on the news. If a lesbian couple gets married down the street, you never hear about it. I backtrack. You just said it's not books about love. Bro, it's a lot of books on love. It's a lot of books on kindness. You can teach your kids that yourself also. But kids should not be exposed to things at a young age because guess what? That's going to cause trauma within their life. Trust me, I'm a kid that was exposed to this. I was exposed to LGBT. I was exposed to that. I was once that before I gave my life to Christ. But all that that I was exposed to, I remember getting touched at a little, I remember getting touched at a young age at seven by my older family member. I remember getting touched. That all carried me. That all carried with me. I was curious. I was curious on man and man. Why? Because that's what I was exposed to. And that caused trauma, especially giving my life to Christ. It was a hard transition. Very hard transition. Quiet! It is my turn! Please address the, the board. And please be respectful of the speaker. Books are media. Quiet! Reclaiming my time. I want five seconds back. Please continue. Please continue now. I will not be shouted out by people who are of a, of a faith other than mine. Thank you for your comments. This is not a debate about books. It's a debate about culture. And let's just admit that. Because Be respectful people and allow someone who want to ban books about gay people and come up and use words like pedophile to describe gay people, who use words like sexual perversion to describe gay people. You're not trying to ban a book. You're trying to ban gay people. That's what this is about. And it's obvious because the signs are there. Let's talk about what this really is. You hate gay people. And it's obvious because look at how you behave. When one gay person speaks, look at how you act, and your children you guys, are watching. Mr. Stone, Mr. Stone, you need, you need to, you need. First of all, you, you, you LGBT, some of you LGBT people, Nobody hates y'all. I think y'all just hate yourself. Okay, that, that, that's 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 me personally. Nobody once said that they hate y'all. We just don't like the agenda that y'all that y'all go by. Y'all try to put this on our kid. This ain't your kid. This is our kid. If you want to do something, if you want to do something to your kid, go ahead. You be your parent to your household. But when it comes to me and my household. I don't want my kids learning about this. And the fact that the school want to put books out there to be exposed to every single kid, that's a problem to me. Now, whatever you want to do to your kid, you do it in private. I don't care what you do. That's your household. But at the end of the day, nobody hates you. I don't have nothing against the gay community. I don't. I love everybody. As y'all say, the LGBT, LGBT community, all it is is love. I love everybody. I may not support what y'all do. 
But I respect y'all as people. Because at the end of the day, y'all still going to be my brothers and sisters in Christ. Regardless. We all bleed the same. We all bleed. You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it truly doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't hate you. I just don't support what you do. I cannot support you but still respect you as a person. It's like God. God loves each and everybody. He just hates the sins that we commit. You know, he loves you. He just hates your sin. That's it. Y'all got to wake up, man. You need I'm to being address shouted the down. Board. You need to address the board and not the audience. Yes. Well, I'd like to also say this. Characters in books deserve to be defended. Every kind of character. Gay characters. Black characters. Every diverse kind of character that can exist in a book belongs in our libraries. And you know what? They belong for one very simple reason. Because literature reflects reality. Address the board, please. Literature reflects reality. There's people who do all kinds of things in books. They're villains. They shoot people. They hurt people. They do dastardly things. And we don't try to ban them from every book. And if the most wretched villain belongs on the page of a book, then so too does a young gay child or a gay character who's Like I said, you do this on your own time, bro. I, that, that's all I'm saying. You do this on your own time. You put this in your household. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... I feel like certain books should not be in schools. Books about shootings, books about killing. I feel like certain books should not be in school. Now, when if it involves history, that's a whole different story. But if it's about a person saying, I'm finna go blow this, I'm finna go blow this house down, whatever, whatever it involves. Like, I won't even let my kids play GTA. I don't know if y'all know what GTA is. It's just Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is a video game. You you rob people. You can steal cars. You can do all types of stuff. A lot of kids done took that game into reality, and they went outside and tried to steal somebody's car. Me, I just won't let my kids play that. I couldn't play Grand Theft Auto until I was older. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is you do this all in your household. No certain books should not be in schools to be taught to my kid at all. Point blank, period. Just trying to survive. Yeah, that school board meeting was absolutely insane. All right, so, for, like, okay, yeah, like Black Conservative percent said, look, that that school board meeting was absolutely, absolutely crazy. It was crazy. I mean, the 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 guy, the the big buff guy, bald head, yeah, he was going crazy in the background. I mean, like, God damn, bro, he was going crazy. But um, I, I I feel his pain though. I, I feel it. I don't have a kid, but I feel his pain. You know, it, and that's the thing. Like I said, once again, we I don't hate I don't hate the gay community. I don't. I, I truly don't. You know what I'm saying? Look, I came to the conclusion. I may not support it, but at the end of the day, you do what you want to do. It's your life. You get one life, you live it, do what you want to do. The only thing I could do is I could help you to lead you to the right path. But if you don't want to take it, at the end of the day, I plant that seed in you. It's up to you for a lot, a lot to allow that seed to grow inside you. Other than that, look, y'all be y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do y'all. I don't care what y'all do with y'all kids at home. That's y'all. That's your life. Same thing. It's just like with abortion. I'm against it. I don't support it. And I, I don't recommend anybody. This is two different topics, but I'm just saying this for example. I don't recommend anybody get an abortion, but at the end of the day, your life, you do whatever you want to do because a lot of people not going to listen. I'm another human being. It's like, why are you listening to me? So y'all do y'all. Just stop bringing these type of books into the schools. There's a lot of books that should be banned to schools. You know what I'm saying? What happened to Dr. Seuss? What happened, you know what I'm saying? What happened to the cat in the hat? Like, what happened to books like that? What happened to Diary Wumpy Kid? Books like that. That was just the, my favorite type of books. You know what I'm saying? Novels, like, big books. Like, come on, man. History books. You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the backstory behind America. Like, what happened to books like that, bro? Things that kids should be learning about. So when they get older, they know what, what uh, happened back then, and they see how far we came now. So they won't feel as if, oh, they can't be nothing because of the color of their skin, or they can't do this and they can't do it. Maybe that's just how I think. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.